Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, his third appearance on the vlog. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What's up? Kevin Neufeld, pro guide, chef, bird cleaner. Hopefully. What do we have going on? I see some recipes. Uh, so today we're gonna try two different kinds of recipes. One is for the legs. Look at those. Mmm, goose thigh. And we have the breasts. Two very different pieces of meat. Two different ways to cook them. And we are going to try it and find out how they taste. I ate my first goose with Kevin last year. It was delicious. And he is a master of wild meat. So I'm glad we could have him show off this portion because I'm, I don't really know how to cook goose. For what are the recipes, Kevin? Recipes, we have a honey sriracha lime legs. So this is for duck, but you can do geese as well. We have venison steak, Diane, and venison is deer, but we're gonna do it with goose. It's one of my favorite fall time recipes. It's really rich, it's really delicious. It just satisfies you in every way. In every way. In every way. The legs, you'll notice there's no skin on them. So what I did was I pre-braised them. Braising is pretty much slow cooking in broth. I use the chicken stock for this one. Braising will just help keep moisture in the meat. You don't wanna eat a tire. The venison steak, Diane. Not much gets trimmed off because it is wild. There's not much to take off besides a few feathers, skin, some odds and ends. Okay, one thing I gotta say, you should check for BBs. Yes. Because the first time I ate goose, I actually bit down on a BB, a BB like from a shotgun shell. Like it could potentially chip, chip a tooth. You could bust a tooth, you chip a tooth. tooth. You're gonna need dental work if you crunch down too hard. You can tell where the BBs hit the bird. So often when you're cleaning them, you'll see where the impact was, but it's just good to check. Uh, I don't know if there's anything beyond that metal detector. I don't have one. It, if you got really into serving other people. A metal detector. Um, if you're yeah. hardcore and eat a lot of birds. We're in the kitchen. We're gonna start with the legs first. So as I said before, I pre-braised them. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So in this jar here, you'll notice these are skinless. Um, what I do with the season, I'll render out the fat. So this jar is a jar full of goose fat. It tastes great, it's really mild. So I'm gonna put a bit of that on there. You notice how white it is? Um, it looks like ice cream. And you'll notice how soft it is too. It's been at room temperature for probably about an hour, but goose and duck fat melts at room temperature. We're gonna use this to help keep our moisture in. So as you notice, I just set it to 400 and put it in there. I didn't preheat first. That is what the recipe calls for, to help bring it to a slow heat and help render that fat into the meat. It sits in there for about 30 minutes. I already pre-braised them, so they already have some cooking in them. While that's baking, we're gonna start on the breasts. So, we're gonna put this on medium-high heat, about 90 seconds, get the butter melted, start to heat up. Mmm. Man, if this YouTube channel doesn't work out, I could just film cooking shows, maybe. Cooking with Kevin and Jay? Cooking with Kevin, eating by Jay. So while these start to simmer or cook on each side, I'm just gonna get the sauce for the legs going. We have sriracha. We're gonna turn this down to medium while these start to cook. Mmm, sriracha. Ooh, that goose is fogging up the lens. Things are getting steamy. Could you use Frank's? No, I guess sriracha's thick. Sriracha's a little different and different flavor too. Frank's got more of a, just a cayenne pepper taste. We're adding a little honey into the sauce. It's gonna be a bit of a sweet with heat kind of flavor. I don't know if cooking shows use their fingers, but I do. It's allowed. You're not too serious. From the field to the table. All right, so I mixed my combo. I got soy sauce, honey, lime juice, and sriracha sauce. So I'm gonna warm that over medium. We're just gonna melt it all together. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Whisk it together. All right, so these have now been cooking both sides about eight minutes. You'll notice they're pretty thick. Now, eight minutes might not be long enough if you don't like to eat them as rare. Now, the less done it is, the better they'll be because they'll be tender, they won't be overdone, they won't be rubbery, which is very easy to do with wild meat because there is no fat content, it's lean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these aside and if you think they're too thick and they're not gonna be done enough, you can butterfly them, split them in half, essentially. My shallots in here to get them cooking. So what was that? Some shallots. I don't know what a shallot is. It's pretty much a very sweet onion. So all this sits here for a bit. I'm gonna tent the geese. We're now gonna learn how to tent a goose. And what this is gonna do is just keep in some heat. It's gonna just let them cook 
a little longer in their own heat. Once you, once you take them off, they're still gonna cook with their own heat that they throw off. So tending loosely. I'm gonna toss in a little garlic. You don't wanna do too long, just enough to soften them. Brandy, we're gonna deglaze everything with this. So right now we've put some brandy in here. We're gonna let this cook down. We're gonna let the alcohol cook out. It's gonna turn more into a syrup. So we're gonna let that sizzle away here for a bit. So we've now added our butter, shallots, garlic, deglaze with brandy, added now the beef stock. We're gonna let it come back up to a boil. We're adding in the rest of the ingredients, some tomato paste. We're gonna add a little mustard. Some Worcestershire sauce. We're now gonna stir this all together, bring it up to another boil until it cooks down again. So when you're reducing these sauces, it just really enhances the flavor, really brings out everything you're putting into it. Well, that comes back up to a boil. I'm gonna add in some of this sriracha sauce for the legs. So we're gonna put a little sauce in. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna save the rest for later. We're gonna put this back into the oven for another few minutes, let it heat back up, and these legs will be done. You can see this is sizzling nicely. If you could smell it. Mm. It, it smells good. The heart of the sauce, heavy cream. You want heavy cream, you don't want light cream. It's gonna be full rich. Nobody's on a diet here. Full fat. These are now cooked. Um, you'll see that I have cut them into different pieces. I did cook them a little longer. They weren't quite done enough for my liking, which isn't a big deal. You just put it back in the pan. Quick sear, both sides. If you like rare, rare is no problem. I mean, you're cooking the outside of the bird, so you're burning off any bacteria that has formed. Um, if you're liking a little less, I would say medium is probably the most done you'd want. Bubbling. Sriracha. Lime. lime. Sriracha lime legs. Mm -hmm. I should have mentioned this sooner, but Kevin is happily married. So, like, yeah, I'm sorry, I thought you put something off. <laughs> <laughs> He's married. He's married. So just keep it, keep it calm in the DMs. You're not getting anywhere with him. All right. Legs are done. Breasts are done. We got some spaghetti squash. Canada goose. Freshly shot from the field to table fare. Well, thank you for joining in Kevin's kitchen. Kevin, thank you for cooking. This looks okay. amazing. We're gonna say grace and we're gonna dig in. You wanna give a shout out? I'm gonna give a shout out. So I've looked at a lot of recipes. I follow a guy on, on Instagram, seen his website for a while. Hunt, gather, cook, Hank Shaw. The book is Duck, Duck, Goose. You will link it below. It's Unreal, it really gives you step-by-step -step information and it's just amazing recipes too. To another hunt. More hunts, and more good more food. more cheesy cooking videos. Right? It's a good amount of spice. And they're tender. So freaking good. We'll see how the spaghetti squash seems kind of questionable. You don't have to. I'm just kidding. <laughs>